Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God as we await the advent of Christ, your Son, so that when He comes and knocks, He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples 
shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it, the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls, prosperity in your buildings. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Because of my relatives and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Come and save us, Lord our God. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slaves, do this, and they do it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, 
in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. May isang kwento patungkol sa kung ano ang magiging reaksyon ng mga taong nakakapasok sa langit. Ang sabi, lahat daw tayo pag nakapasok sa langit ay nakanganga. Nakanganga dahil sa tatlong dahilan. Nakanganga dahil ang mga inaakala nating wala sa langit ay nandoon sa langit. Nakanganga dahil yung mga inaakala nating dapat hindi na sa langit ay nasa langit. Pangatlo, nakanganga dahil tayo ay nasa langit. Sense of amazement. Sa mga kwento ng pagpapagaling at mga milagro na ginawa ni Jesus, ang pinaka-basic na requirement na hinihingi niya upang makatanggap ng hiling na milagro, ang mga humihiling nito ay ang pagkakaroon ng pananampalataya. Madalas sinasabi niya, Your faith has saved you. Sa ating ibang elyo ngayon, ibang helyo ngayon, narinig natin ang pagpapagaling ni Jesus sa isang katulong ng sundalong Romano na may malubhang karumdaman. Ito yung healing na remote. No? Kung, baga, kung mayroong work from home, ito yung healing from home. Ni hindi nga ni kinakita ni Jesus kung sino yung papagalingin na yun. Ang isang kapansin-pansin sa Ibanghelyong ito ay ang pananampalataya ng sundalong Romano na isa ring sentoryo. Ano ibig sabihin ng sentoryo? It means he has a hundred people under him. It means that he, has, he is a person in authority. At sa kwento ng apat na Ibanghelyo, madalas ang mga outsider, ang mga banyaga, ang mga foreigner, yung mga sinasabi nating hindi bilong. In our case today, isang sundalong Romano ang nagpahayag publicly ng kanilang pananampalataya kay Jesus. Pinapakita lamang ho nito sa ating Ibanghelyo ng kapangyarihan ng pananampalataya ay wala hong pinipiling tao, mapahudyo ka man, maparomano o isang outsider. Jesus, after realizing how advanced, great, the faith of this Roman centurion, parang napabilib siya, no? napanganga, at nagwika, Amen, I say to you, no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. So po, ang posibilidad po na tagalabas, outsider, hindi bilong sa atin, sa ating partido o grupo, siya yung may higit pananampalataya na lubos na kinalulugdan ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, walang pinapaniga ng Diyos pagnating sa pagbibigay ng kanyang biyaya. Ang mahalaga sa Kanya ay ang pananampalataya ng humihiling nito. Sa pasisimula po natin ng panahon ng Adviento, today we are on our first, first or second day of our Advent season. Sa paghahanda natin ng pagdating ni Jesus, muli tayong pinapaalalahanan ng kahalagan ng pananampalataya. Sa para sa ating pagninilay ngayon, pwede ho nating tanungin sa ating mga sarili 
Kamusta ang estado ng ating pananampalataya sa Diyos? Umaalab ba ito? Nagbubunga ba ito? Nakakapagdulot ba ito ng kabutihan na parabagang milagro para sa iba? Tumatagos ba ito sa ating pagkatao? Sa atin hong pagninilay ngayon, hindi po mahalaga sa Diyos kung saan ang pinanggalingan mo, kung anong grupo ka napab- napabibilang, kung kaninong paksyon ka umaanib, lingwahe man o tribo. Ang tinitingnan lang niya, gaano kalaki ang iyong pananampalataya sa akin. Gaano katotoo ang pananalig na ipinapahayag ninyo sa akin. Ngayong panahon ng Adbiento, iniiling natin ang biyaya ng paglago sa paglinang ng ating pananampalataya. Pauna rin natin ang ating pananalig upang mahinog at magpanumbalik tayo bilang kanyang mga taga-sunod. Nang sa gayon, sa paggunita natin ng paparating na kapaskuhan, lubusan nating masasabing nananalig at nanadampalataya tayo sa paparating na Diyos na nagkatawang tao para makapiling tayo. Sana sa ating pananampalataya, mapangangan natin ang bawat isa. Amen. Please then. As we enter the season of Advent, we make our prayer to God, our Father, with all our hearts so that we can avail ourselves of the opportunity for a new beginning in grace. In every prayer we say, God of mercy, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear our prayer. That those who minister in the church may bring the light of the gospel to all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our lives, we may show the same love and compassion that the centurion had for his servant to those who need our help. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may understand and accept those people who differ from us in race and religion, let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy, hear our prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress, let us pray to the Lord. God, God of mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may meet the Lord whom they eagerly awaited. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, help us to grow in our compassion and give hope to all those who touch our lives. May Advent bring us closer to you and each other as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please then. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace nail. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, but only say, the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Please stand.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.